Hey guys, today we're doing quite a different Draw My Life video. This is a continuation of our most hated YouTuber series. If you want to do more of these, leave a like. Also, if you have any suggestions for any other hated YouTuber, let me know in the comment section and we'll make them. Today's episode, we're talking about quite a hated person. Yes, Lele Pons. By the way, just a disclaimer, this isn't my opinion or anything. I'm just listing down many different events or things that happened in the past that led to people hating on Lele Pons. Most people don't like her in general when it comes to the older generation, but there are fans of Lele Pons, people that love her. We can't deny her massive success throughout the years, first in Vine, then on YouTube and social media in general. Lately, she's producing music videos. As much as people love Lele, so much, they hate her. She's one of the most polarized YouTubers in the platform. Today, we're going to compile all the reasons for the hatred towards her. Again, these are not our opinions, but factual reasons. So let's go and see what Lele Pons did that people started hating her. I also had a personal bad experience with Lele Pons management, which is called Shot Studio or something. They took down two of my videos for using Lele Pons image. I mean, seriously. By the way, you can't do that under YouTube fair use policy. But as a small YouTuber, I didn't have much power. The video had a million views and I took it down. Yeah, quite bad stuff. Lele Pons is a 25 year old internet celebrity. She got famous through her Vine videos. She became so famous in Vine with her six second comedy videos that Lele became the first Viner to reach 1 billion loops. At that time, people used to love her. The reason Lele got famous was her physical comedy, but soon people got bored of that. When Vine was shut down, Lele moved to YouTube. Her first YouTube video itself got millions of views. In YouTube also, Lele did comedy sketches, which is her forte. Her YouTube channel picked up immediately and she uploaded every week. Each of her videos was getting like 25 to 30 million views. There's even one which has 50 million views. She has 15 million subscribers in her channel. However, Lele got into a serious controversy which exposed her very badly. As she became more popular in the media industry, Lele met many famous people. One of them became her best friend in 2016, Amanda Cerny. Amanda, the famous Playboy model, was however not so popular on YouTube. She started her YouTube channel around that time and collaborated with Lele Pons. Amanda's videos started getting views. One day, Amanda realized that one of her highly viewed videos is being deleted from her channel. She couldn't figure out what happened and informed the authorities. Then her Insta pictures started getting deleted. Also, many times her profile was privated, so Amanda wasn't able to get followers. Later, it was proved that it was Lele who did all these out of jealousy. Lele even admitted this to Amanda. This incident was kind of a bad impression on Lele. She got a lot of internet hate. And in fact, what Lele did was quite crazy and unacceptable. There started a hate wave against her, which only increased later. It was the starting point of what her personality was. She lost her credibility and innocent image. The main reason towards her hatred is this immature behavior. There surfaced many incidents where Lele acted out her immaturity with her friends and in public platforms. She's insecure in front of bigger stars and contempt the not so big celebs. She's jealous on other success and is very bad in hiding these feelings. Many people came out with their experience with Lele Pons. Many told that she was always obsessed with numbers and she'll only hang out with people with less followers and views than her. That's so silly to be honest. Another part is her videos. Her channel is heavily criticized for its dumb comedic style. Mostly her audience is kids. She herself has described her audience demographics as nine year olds. Her comedy shows very silly school going problems and humor out of those. Even though she's a 25 year old adult, her content's childish. None of her peer group can relate to the ideas she put forward in her videos. Her writing is termed as lazy, unfunny, repetitive, and having sexual comments. Talking about sexual slur in her videos, Lele very well knows and has admitted that her main audience is kids. However, many of her videos include visuals, 
dialogues and concepts which should be censored for kids' audience. Her twerking, brawless scenes, comedy sketches, and school, which involves a hot teacher, are all just insensible. Lele's told that she's been bullied in school, and in her videos, she's a bully many times. Reacting to the criticism on her comedy, she terms herself as a master in physical comedy and compared herself to Charlie Chaplin. People were only cringing on her arrogance and unjust comparison to the world-class comedian Charlie Chaplin. One of the common themes of her videos is shouting and overreaction. This was also criticized heavily that shouting doesn't make something funny. In 2016, a book was released, as co-authored by Lele, named Surviving High School, which turned out that she wrote nothing in the book. However, mere ideas were taken from her. This thing came out when she was asked about a paragraph in her book during an interview, and she had no clue. She didn't even know that the thing being asked was from her book. It's quite weird, to be honest. This also has stirred hatred against her. And the wide majority who read the book testified that the book is all about her number of YouTube subscribers. She's obsessed with the numbers and views. Her success, or idea of success, is directly related to how many views or subs she makes, or basically acceptance from others, or money. These ideas are not to be sold on a book, especially to the audience in their growing ages. She's been seen very competitive about these numbers, even in silly videos with her friends. In fact, she can do anything to succeed, or should I say, anything to get the numbers she wants. Lele is also notorious for pretending and faking things, for being dishonest with her own fans. She has videos where she talks against body shaming or photoshopping images. However, she's openly admitted that she's had plastic surgery. Also, it's an evident truth that she photoshops her images to make her body perfect for Insta posts. Lele's views has decreased drastically these days. Each of her videos are barely getting 1 to 2 million views. Lele lost her credibility. After all this incident, you'll not hear anyone saying, I love Lele Pons, except her kids' audience. The things she did was not like the worst of the worst, but it actually showed her true nature, her obsession towards views and fame, rather than people and relationships. And this kind of thing are the worst when it comes to social media personalities, because the whole operation runs in trust. It's been a few years since her last controversy, but she's lost her old friends like Amanda Cerny, and Anna. But Lele is doing good lately. She's uploading music videos and pulling good numbers. Hopefully, she learned from her mistakes and will not repeat them. Let's hope for the best. So, there, guys. That was the Draw My Life video of Lele Pons. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more amazing Draw My Life videos like this, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next episode.